or at this it's kind of crazy because you know for a lame brain guy like myself who doesn't really get these kind of things because obviously it's not something that would ever kind of pass my mind um because i'm not an absolute monster but this crazy news came out today regarding trey songs who i'm a big fan of because i'm a big r&b head and um yeah man very very concerning so this is a headline courtesy of tmz trey songs denies rape allegations made by dylan gonzalez you never want to see your name alongside that word and you never want to see allegation because unfortunately in this era if somebody accuses you of such a heinous crime there's going to be a population of people out there who no matter how much you disproved it will always believe you're that guy and it's a smudge i think for the most part that doesn't lead i think it's a smudge for the most part that seems like it's even got worse sort of societal consequences than murder for some reason which is strange isn't it, if you think about it you could end somebody's life but you could possibly rebuild your life in terms of how you're received by the public but if you're convicted or if you're even accused of the r word there's no coming back for you society kind of just rids you forever and i think that's a real big um change in society overall because there was a time back in the day where some people would say if a woman got you know r worded oh she deserved it she was asking for it what were you wearing which way did you go i remember that being a little bit of the discourse back in the day when i used to watch a show called crime watch you know you came to the show called crime watch which basically was essentially like a, a compilation show of all the most deadliest heinous flipping murders and kidnappings or whatnot assaults happening in the uk pretty pretty bleak thing to watch but before back in the day it used to be a thing you'd rush home to watch with your parents and stuff and it didn't really make any sense after a while you kind of snap out of it like hold on why am i why am i kind of um watching this miserable and again the acting was really good they'd really try and get across the emotion of the of the, what happened i remember one specific one i remember watching of um this couple i think it was in england somewhere maybe it was in middle uh maybe middle england north i don't know somewhere in the countryside where this couple were walking through a field or whatever going on a hike and uh, you know the rapist came and essentially somehow i don't know what happened in the altercation he managed to hog tie both of these people on the floor and essentially outwarded the part the woman right next to the guy and at the same time he was doing i think he was holding a knife to the guy's throat and just some, some incredibly sick thing i remember re reading i think it was a big story around the time in the uk so if you can find it yourself definitely check it out but it was a crazy crazy story and those are things i used to subject myself to again and again and again on purpose i didn't understand it but again you know you, you grow up you get a bit older and you start to realize you know what you what, what you what you listen to and what you see um definitely plays a big part in how you kind of view the world and your emotions and that's it just wasn't constructive <laughs> But anyway, that being said, um, it just, it's a nutty thing, in it? It's really a nutty thing to think about. Like, you could take somebody's life and society could somewhat forgive you. But if you do R-word somebody or you're accused of it, it's basically lights out for you. Especially if you're a public person. Um, you know, it's very difficult to come back off that. You can come back off it, don't get me wrong. People say come back because, you know, people say counterculture doesn't exist. In that aspect, I understand what, what they mean because essentially if you get accused of something in your celebrity, it's not like you're going to, next day you're going to be working in Tesco. That's not going to happen. You're always going to have your, your kind of bottoms always going to be a lot higher than most people's bottoms. But in terms of you ever reaching your heady heights that you were previously, that's completely done. So there is some sort of societal consequences even if maybe the justice system doesn't work that way because you know rapes are notorious or our words i'll keep a mess up i don't want to get demonetized but our words are notoriously hard to convict um for a whole bevy of reasons um but yeah this is a mad one and again mad again for me in my head again being a simple-minded bloke because i think to myself if i was a dude and i looked like trey songs the last thing I'd be want to be doing is this, right? I'd go out my way to be actually a flipping Superman gentleman, right? I'd be like turbo gentleman. I'd be uh, amazingly chivalrous and stuff because you've already been blessed with the genetic lottery in terms of looking the way he does and maybe appealing to a wide breadth of women. Why would you then take the piss out of that kind of blessing? Why not just kind of use it as a platform to just be a nicer dude? You know what I mean? And imagine having such a good reputation 
amongst all these women now who are trying to get with you and they're just spreading all this good word about you they're basically acting as if you're acting as your street team by saying oh my god you're so nice he got me a cab home um he let me stay over the night he cooked me bread like whatever right they just like give you such a good review because they think oh this guy's amazing what a what an absolute refreshing um hookup that was because this is one of the rare kind of hot dudes i've hooked up with that wasn't a meathead and was also had great conversational skills was a pleasure to be around and just was you know a, a gentleman throughout that would be an actual bigger win all right and guys like myself would hate you forever because you'd got everything you got the looks and you also got the personality you'd be like damn it but also on the flip side of things i could also understand why it would also happen because in some way shape or form if you've got if you've been blessed with the genetic lottery as Trey Songz has, or people that look like him, or of that kind of ilk, or that kind of level of attractiveness, there is a thinking out there that you have all the access because everyone comes to you. You don't have to go and seek anybody out. People in your DMs, they're trying to get all over you when you're out and about. They're screaming your name at shows. You have everything coming towards you. So when that happens, sometimes you can take liberties. And sometimes it can get too easy where you just start to want to play risky games and start to do things that you probably maybe wouldn't have done prior. But because it's always coming at you at a plate, you start to take it for granted. And then maybe latent thoughts of whatever you had in you from back in the day start to bubble up and then you be turned to a monster. Or you just always was that monster and we never knew because you're really famous and you're always well liked. So people, again, made excuses for you or maybe buried evidence or pay people up because that happens also behind the scenes but maddening story maddening story and again like if he's not if he's not guilty trying to again you know trying to rid yourself of that smudge is near and impossible says the following uh, via tmz trey songs is denying allegations he raped a woman in sin city hotel with his team telling us that he'll be exonerated after legal process plays out hmm Here's a deal. Artist Dylan Rodriguez, sorry, Dylan Gonzalez is accusing Trey of raping her in what she calls a well-known Las Vegas hotel and says she's weighing her legal options. A source close to Dylan says, um, tells us the incident happened several years ago. Yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? Several years ago to report an R word. How does that happen, though? Because I guess... <laughs> I guess with most crimes, you have to prove it happened, right? Is that, is that it or prove intent? No, you have to prove it actually happened. Because then it would just be a he said, he said. So if it's over seven years, how do you prove categorically that this happened? And also prove that it wasn't consensual. Do you know what I mean? That's always a difficult thing, I think. And it, it, I just wish there was a better way that um, women or people in general could record our words. Like, there must be a better way there must be some sort of change that can happen in law and i know of course maybe numbers wise our words are really rare and they probably don't happen too often um you're probably most likely to win the lottery then yeah i know people can say what they want to say but there should be a way where people don't feel as if they have to bottle up such allegations or you know such charges for like seven or so years because they're afraid or maybe several years i don't know how long it's several it might be seven it might be four it might be two um, I think a lot of that plays into people's decision not to go and say anything or not to go report it. And unfortunately, in this situation, I think, especially if you're a survivor, somewhat a survivor and you're kind of functioning and you're doing okay, I think you owe it to the other women out there or other men who might be victims of the said person to come out and say something. Um, it's not much. It's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be um, judicial, you know, consequences for said person when you say something because you're just saying something on Instagram but it will do at least one thing in terms of maybe putting the brakes on anything that was going to happen warning other people that were maybe going to jump in as well like all that stuff is super important I think it really really does need to be emphasized a lot um you know as much as it probably I assume incredibly brutal and painful to maybe address and to even think about and to even kind of articulate what happened and you know because we have this weird thing as humans where we go through traumatic experiences we bury it right 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 deep down our psyche it goes right 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 to the back i know i do that quite often i put it in the back in the box in the safe in a well cover that well with concrete like i go hard when it comes to burying stuff so i can only imagine what happens to somebody like this um but yeah trey songs is denying it so let's see how it plays out it says the following 
But the rep for Trey tells TMZ they're using his name Trey as well, first name. You can tell they're pally pally with the rep in it. Um, Trey and his team are confident in the legal process and that there'll be an ex- abundance of exonerated evidence um, to come over the next few weeks. Dylan's legal team attorney Ario Mitchell and Greg Vrabeck told TMZ they will consider pursuing any and all legal avenues and will take action in the next few weeks with plans to filing a civil suit. They do not mention anything about filing a police report criminal charges. And this is Dylan. Um, Gonzalez um, post on Instagram she says the following with what is with, sorry, with what seems like endlessly reoccurring news of the alleged sexual assaults committed by Trey Songs, I am forced to repeatedly relive my mind and suffer anew the long suppressed horror and unbearable PTSD of my R word by his very hands at well known Los Angeles sorry Las Vegas hotel I want to send my love strength and hope to all who are victims of sexual assault and fatal nature you are not alone I stand with you and encourage all of those who have suffered abuse to speak out and come forward suppression of our voices only emboldens our oppressors and you cannot heal what you do not reveal at this time i humbly request my privacy consideration and compassion while i fully commit to pursue the best course of action and all of my legal options gracias mi gente the dylan gonzalez i'm assuming so brutal stuff again who knows what's true you have to let it play out in the courts of course um but yeah it's just a bad way to start the year in it if you're trey and of course if you're the lady too having to relive this in public especially considering how fanatical trey songs fans are i'm assuming her mentions aren't going to be too nice um just a sad situation for all involved hopefully it gets sorted out and hopefully whoever's guilty of whatever um gets duly punished and um if it is trey gets buried under a prison you know that's what should be happening really that's what should be happening. Um, 